Motivation intrigues me. It comes and goes. Motivation can be the spark that lights the fire, but it won't be its fuel. They say it's about finding your purpose, your why. It's simple mathematics. When your reason for doing is bigger than your excuses, then it will start to happen. Unexpectedly, my hospital admission was pushed, giving me a day. A day that won't be wasted. No day should ever be wasted. Office is very quiet this morning. We're, I know. The, we're the only ones in, but what the hell is everyone? <laughs> we're holding up fort here. <laughs> I know. So, uh, what have you got planned today? What's your today? I have a call for the client this morning to discuss some final aspects of my campaign, which will be going live in a couple of weeks. We just need to finalise some information about the influencers and what they'll be up to, and then hopefully we'll, I'll be able to get into contact with the influencers, send out the creatives, and yeah. Get moving with wow, them. Wow, very, very busy then. Yeah, busy, busy day Flipping for me. Neck. So, <laughs> you're going to be doing that all day? Yeah, or? I'll probably be doing that all day. I'll have a call. After my call, I'll probably have a lot to sort out. And then I'll start writing contracts, getting in contact with the influencers, letting them know what they've got to do. And yeah, awesome. pretty much my day. When um, When's this campaign going live? This or what's campaign, the... well, early February. Early February, early February. So, so we've got, oh, so we've got no, a while. Just, yeah, a while, but... So our campaign, it's a really exciting campaign to so the influencers. They're going to have the opportunity to go to Paris Fashion Week where they'll have access to a show and they'll be um, creating content about that show, posting that online and yeah. Do we get to go to that? Does yeah. that mean I'm going? <laughs> oh, I'm going to Paris Fashion Week, that's sick! <laughs> See, this, this, this is what I like about this because I always get to go to these things. So like, I'm going to be going to that. That's yeah. amazing. That's dope. I thought you just said, I didn't know. I didn't have a I clue. I assume you know that. Yeah, Who's well, going? Who's doing it? I assume like you're, obviously you'll definitely go. And probably yeah. Majid, I don't know. Majid is saying I'll go, but you know, we'll see. So, <laughs> that should be fun. Man, I'm excited now. I didn't yeah. know. I, I didn't know. This it's was... just one. Maybe we'll probably be there for two days. So very exciting stuff. Super exciting. Exciting, exciting campaign. Very busy yeah. day. Let's just busy um, oh, still, wait for the rest of the crew yeah, to arrive in the office. Still no one is here, but yeah. Spin to tap. <laughs> How's it going? What are you doing here? Okay, Hello. Um, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a Hickman, a Hickman, Hickman, Hickman yeah. line placed into my neck, and I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. And he's just come in, and now he's left again. So yeah, he's gonna cut like inches away from my artery. If he hits that, blood's gonna come squirting out onto the lens, and I'm gonna die. Um, but hopefully he won't. He hopefully he'll just get it into my vein close to the heart. Um, Isaac is gonna show you what it's going to look like at the end. So, spin to after the procedure. Hakuna Matata. Um, oh, but, so this really hurts now. The anesthetic has worn off. Now spin to how this ended up in my neck. Get me, motherfucker, cause I'm not coming back. This is the point from which I can never return. And if I back down now, then forever I burn. This is the point from which I can never retreat. Cause if I turn back now, there can never be peace. This is the point from which I will die, succeed, live in the struggle. I know I'm alive when I bleed from now on. It can never be the same as before. Cause the place that I'm from doesn't exist anymore. This is the point of no return, nigga. You better believe this. Mary Magdalene giving birth to the children of Jesus, the ever Evolution of the world, bloody and dramatic. Human beings killing monkeys to conquer the planet, the kingdoms of Africa. And the good news is, I'm still alive um, and I'm waiting for my dinner. I've now been checked into this ward where I'll be oh, residing for the next uh, week. They're really understaffed, so I was supposed to have a bone marrow tonight and um, a um, first dose of this new medication I'm getting. But. I asked how long it would take and the guy almost had a heart attack so we're just gonna stay put, chill out, get comfortable, 
order some food and not think of um, think too far into the future um, because every time you do that you become depressed and it becomes gloomy so I can definitely really feel that um, yeah yeah local anesthetic and he gave me quite a lot of it it's slowly wearing off so I may need to ask for some painkillers yeah it'll be fine in a couple of days and then this will stay in for the next however many months six months until I'm done my transplant so the plan is um, I start this medication I stay in hospital for a week hopefully I don't have any negative side effects and then I I then get to go home with like this backpack thing on my back and it continuously pumps stuff into my system for the next month and then I have a break and then I'd maybe do another month and then they do tests again to see if the cells have gotten out of my system um, and I keep doing that until the transplant is set up and the donor is ready and he's donated and stuff so it's a really busy um, six months or so and uh, in the meantime I want to get on with things so after this week in hospital I want to go straight back to Chiswick to see Rich and kind of get myself in shape again and apparently the side effects of this um, drug that they're giving me which is apparently the most expensive cancer drug on the market um, they've created a um, an antigen basically that primes the immune system cells to go after leukemia cells it's fucking fascinating what they can do these days um, and they're going to go and pick out these leukemia trace traces um, that are still in my system um, so yeah hopefully it'll work and then I can have my transplant and then uh, I can get on with things. Um, if it doesn't work, what happens then, Isaac? Um, death. <laughs> Don't say that, it's so loud here. <laughs>